let's get started. It costs eight dollars for an adult ticket, c dollars for a child ticket. The difference between the cost of nine adult and fifteen child tickets is forty. Which of the following represents the relationship? So it's gonna be fifteen child minus nine a absolute value equals forty, because we need to have a positive number. The price of milk is four. The price decreases by twenty-four percent, so it's gonna be four times zero point seven six. That's going to be, uh, let's see, I think it's gonna be three point oh four. It's about 0 0.75. 15 minus 3x equals this, so we're going to have minus 15, minus 15, negative 3x equals negative 9, sorry, positive 9, divided by negative 3, x equals negative uh, 3, and that means that 4x is equal to negative 12. In any equilateral triangle, ABC, uh, it is always true that the measures of ABC and BCA, so if we look at this triangle, ABC, so ABC and BCA, um, they don't have to equal this, are each going to be 60 degrees because they're the same, they're all 60 degrees. The greatest common factor of this is what? Well, it looks like they're all divisible by 9, uh, but not 12, not 18. The product here is going to be 10 x to the 5th, y to the 8th, sorry, y to the 6th, because you add the exponents. If x is greater than 1, which of the following has the least value? So let's just say, let's just say x equals 2, so this is going to be 4, square root of 2, uh, less than square root of 2, this is going to be 2 square root of 2, this is going to be square root of 4, which is going to be 2. So the least value is going to be probably that one. Oh, sorry, it's going to be this one. In the figure below, BAC measures 40 and ABC measures 90, and points BC and D are collinear. What is the measure of ACD? So BAC is 40, ABC measures 90, that means that this is going to be 50, that means this is going to be 40. So ACD is, uh, sorry, not 40. It's going to be um, 90 plus 40. That's going to be 130. What polynomial must be added to this for it to be equal to this? So 3x squared minus 8 minus x squared plus 4x is equal to this sum, this thing that we're looking for. So it's going to be 2x squared uh, minus 4x. Um, and then we're going to have a minus 8. 2x squared minus 4x minus 8. In a ball pit, 75% of the balls are yellow. If you randomly pick a ball from the ball pit, what is the probability that the ball is not one of the yellow balls? So it's going to be 25%, 1 out of 4. What is the slope of the, of the line? So we just put into uh, y equals mx plus b, divide by negative 8. y equals, negative, uh, y equals 5 over 4, x minus uh, 3. So it's going to be 5 over 4. In the standard coordinate plane, a line segment has its endpoints here. What is the midpoint? So the midpoint is just average of x, average of y. So 2 and 6, the average is going to be 4. This is 4 and 0, the average is going to be 2. 4 comma 2. When y equals this, which of the following is equal to y to the half? So if we do this to the half, that means we're doing this, this to the half. So that's going to be x to the half, all to the half, because square root of x is just x to the half. x to the 1 over 4. In the perimeter of uh, a parallel program is this and one side measures this what are the lengths of the other three sides um, so if you have a parallelogram let's just say it's a rectangle 13 13 x x and all of them add up to 54 that means 2x plus 26 equals 54 uh, that means 2x is equal to 54 minus 26 that's 28 that means x is equal to 14 so 13 14 14 if x is greater than absolute value of y which of the following is a solution statement for x when y equals negative 6 so x is greater than the uh, absolute value of y. That means that um, x has to be like, for example, x has to equal like 7 or negative 7, right? Um, oh, hold on. x can only be positive values because x, if, since this is absolute value and it has to be greater, these are only going to be positives. That means this has to only be positives. So I think it's going to be this right here. Yeah. If x squared minus 6x equals 16, what are the possible values of x? just uh, factor this factors of 16 that equals 6 x minus 8 x plus 2 x equals 8 and this is equal 0 negative 2 8 negative 2 the sides of an equilateral triangle are 5 one vertex of this triangle is at this which of the following could be a vertex of the triangle so if we have 5 comma 0 um, if it's an equilateral triangle then you can't have a vertex here negative 5, 0, that's out. Um, 0, up 5, it can't be here because that's too far. 0, negative 5, over 0, down 5, this is also too far because this distance, neither one, none of these distances is equal to 5. Over 5, up 5, um, 
possibly, and then negative 5 up 5. This distance is 5, so you could have a, rect uh, a triangle like that. So this, this one works. A list contains the numbers here. If two numbers were added to the list and the mean of the new list is 10, which pairs of numbers could have been added to the list? So 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 12, the, uh, the total is going to be 32, and the average is, four, uh, is, average is 8. So if we add two numbers and we change the average to 10, then what could those numbers be? Well, let's just uh, multiply both sides by 6. So it's going to be 60 is your total. Is That's going to be equal to 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 12 plus x plus y. Uh, that means x plus y have to equal 60 minus 5 minus 7 minus 8 minus 12. So x plus y has to equal 28. Okay, so any two numbers that sum to that is going to be correct. Jimmy wants to start a business building and selling dinner tables to begin his he was 5,000 in a workshop. Each table is this to cost and the, the selling price is that. Uh, what is the profit? Okay, so he, the initial fee is this. So that's gonna be something that he's spending. So it's negative profit, right? It's gonna be negative. He makes 1,000 for each table and he loses 625 for each table. Multiply that by x. If x is the number of tables, you get this expression. This here equals 375, so your answer is this. What proportion of students in the class eat both fruits and veggies? So 40% of the students eat veggies, and 54% of the students eat fruits. 15% don't eat either. So that means that 85% eat either one or the other or both. Okay, so this is this. these two shapes represent 85%. Um, now, of that 85%, 54% uh, are eating fruits, and then some of that overlaps and you get 40% eating veggies. So if I do 85% minus 54, I end up getting 31. Um, and it, I, I noticed that if I just, uh, since this is nine more than 41, that means that 9% of those people are actually overlapping. That means that they're eating both. If the class has 80 students, how many of the students eat both fruits, but eat fruits but not veggies? Fruits but not veggies. So, um, so here I, I found out that 9% uh, is overlapping. So 80 students means that fruits. How many are eating fruits? 54% of the students eat fruits. So if I find 54% of this, so 80 times 0.54, it's 43.2. Uh, and then I subtract 9%. So let's just do uh, essentially 45% of that number, 0.45 times 80. We end up getting 36. 36 eat fruits but not veggies. What is the ratio of students who eat fruits to students who only eat fruits? <clears throat> so fruits, 54% eat fruits, right? 54, we can just express it as percents. And those who only eat fruits, well, that's going to be what percent? Um, fruits but not veggies is going to be, what percent was it? 45%. So it's 45. 54 to 45, that's going to be, I can divide both sides by 9. I end up getting... Uh, six to five if jess has five different colored blocks how many uh unique patterns can she make with stacking all five blocks five different colored blocks how many unique patterns can she make so for the first block you have five options second you have four third you have three then you have two then you have one okay so if i just multiply i get five factorial which should give me 120. if the parallelogram abcd has a perimeter of 40 inches the length of da is 12 inches what is the area um, has a perimeter of 40, the length of DA is 12. This is 12, this is 12. Um, I can subtract 40 minus 12 minus 12, and that'll give me these two side lengths added together. So 40 minus 24, that means this is 8 and 8. So what is the area? It's going to be just base times height. So 8 times 12, which is going to be 96. If cab is 130 and DAB is 3 fifths of CAB, what is the angle measure of CAD? So cab is 130, DAB is 3 fifths of cab. So DAB is 3 fifths of 130. So 130 times three divided by five, that's 78. What is the measure of CAD? You're just gonna do subtraction, 130 minus 78, 52. In what order would these be listed in decreasing order? Okay, so decreasing order, from right to left, they should be uh, decreasing. The largest is probably, if we just calculate the decimals of these, so um, this clearly looks like the largest. Let's just see, 13 divided by seven is 1.857. Six over five is going to be 1.2. Nine over 13 is going to be 
0 0.692 and 5 over 3 is going to be 1.6 repeating. Okay, so clearly the largest is, one point, uh, is 13 over 7. So it has to be one of these, and then the next is going to be 5 over 3. The circle below has a center point C. The length of AC is the radius to area of this. Uh, so what is the circumference of the circle? The area is going to be equal to pi r squared, and that's equal to 30.25 pi. If I divide both sides by pi, I get r squared equals 30.25. r is equal to uh, 0.25 to the 0.5. We end up getting 5.5. .5. Now, if I take that circumference equals 2 pi r, now multiply this by 2, we end up getting 11 pi. What is the value of log 216? That's just log of 16 divided by log of 2. You can plug it on your calculator. 16 log, where is my log? Divide by 2 log equals 4. A dance teacher charges 30 per hour. Ballet costs 12 for, per day. Has a dance lesson for 80 minutes and needs to rent shoes. How much does she owe after her lesson? 30 per hour. Um, so it's how many hours was used? It's 1. Uh, 1.3 repeating hours times 30 plus 12.5 for the ballet shoes. So 4 over 3 times 30 plus 12.5, 52.5. Last problem we're going to do for the functions, what is the value of f of g of negative 2? So f of g is going to be equal to um, 4x plus 5 squared minus 12 times 4x plus 5. We end up getting 16x squared plus 40x plus 25 minus uh, 48x minus 60. That turns into 16x squared um, minus 8x minus 35. That's f of g. Now let's plug in 2. So we get 16 times 4 minus 8 times 2. Sorry, negative 2. And then we get minus 35. So 64 plus 16 minus 35. 45. All right, that's how you do 30 problems very quickly. Hopefully this helps.